Hey there folks, how are you doing? Welcome to day 53 of Lindor Slush's Limberings, getting ready for a very exciting day of limbering indeed. Today is arm day uh, and you know, let's get moving because you know, yesterday it wasn't quite so vigorous, was it? So, you know, just means we can be best a bit more in today. Tomorrow is going to be stretchy, so you know, that's all good. Uh, so before you <laughs> turn it off and run screaming, it's not going to be that bad and also you know, you float your own boat, you do what works for you, you know that. So, a course will give you uh, different levels to move up to, so pick what feels good for you today. Uh, just because I'm feeling like I need to burn off some crap today, <laughs> doesn't mean that you have to, so you you do, you do you. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> Glad that we've talked about that. So, now, starting with today's playlist, a three, two, one. And just going a little bit wide with the feet today. And just starting to go from side to side. Nice and easy. And just letting the arms turn a bit. And I'm drawing this from the ground. So that pushes, I push from the ground, that turns the hip. And then almost like the whole body's connected, that turns the shoulders, which turns the arms. It's amazing. Go for it, mechanics. Just make sure you're not letting this knee roll in like this, so you're pushing from the outside blade of the foot. And you may notice, the astute among you, that my arms are getting a little bit higher each time. Good. Stepping a little wider, if you feel like it. I'm just going to start to let this go over into a rainbow, over a free willy jump. And if you're warming up, you can just start to take that a little bit behind. Alright, and single arm out with a hand in pronation, which means the back of the hand is up. Just taking that a little bit further around now. And now with a hand in supination, like you're offering people a whole pile of, I don't know, rose petals, sweets, pints of cider. Turning around a little bit more into that now. Turning into a swim with both hands. This is a Tom Hodgson favorite, this. I mean, this be honest, no one would really swim like this, but you know, we can pretend. Good, and single-handed, rainbow, I'm getting a little bit wider with the legs now. Good, into center, and rolling shoulders. Settle the breath, taking in the elbows. Really broaden across the chest, relax the back of the neck as you do this. And double arms. Lifting up tall to the top of the head, tucking the chin ever so slightly. Reverse the direction. Nice and easy across the chest and with the elbows going forwards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and we're going to take this into our favorite figure of eight really broadening from the back here as you do it so you feel like it's coming from all these muscle and muscles stretching out further and further softening across the top of the shoulders change direction oh my god just nailing that now yes See, that's what you get from lockdown. Changing arms, smooth as silk. You stay with this arm a little longer because the other arm we did, so you know, even it out. Lengthening out from the center of the chest and also the center of the back. Get ready to change direction. Go 
going to take the wins when you get them. Good. Bring it in. Ankles and wrists. Weights on the ball of the ground and foot. Change both directions. I'm moving this from the hip, even though it's the ankle that's pivoting because of the, the ball of the foot being on the ground. Change, direct, uh, change feet and change directions. Breathe. Breathing's good. And change. Five, six, seven. Go stepping wide and going up and down. You can get a little bit of a stretch, but arch through the back here and then curve over as you go down. Really let the arms just swing freely. Setting the butt out behind you as you go. Getting down a little bit lower each time. Good. Settling down again. And shoulders. Two, three, four. With the wrists up. Good. It's going a little bit more. Settle down here. And hips and arms. Go a little lower. You know you want to. Two in a circle. One, two, circle. One, two, circle. Forward and back with the wrists. And circle with the wrist. Make it go into the elbows now. Work it. Change direction, just the wrist. And now with the elbows. Good, going down. Just hang up for a sec, rolling through the shoulders. And small bounces here, teeny tiny, nothing too extreme. Yeah, totally didn't turn off my phone. <laughs> but the knees are rolling up to the spine. You guys keep rolling up quickly while I turn off my phone. Five, six, seven, arms wide and bounce. Keep bouncing. Turn the hands into supination. Keep the hands out and circle. Five, six, ten, keep them pronation, go the other way. Two, three, four, five, six. And keep the hips steady now, just do the arms in supination. Two, making sure the knees are out over the toes so that you're relaxing across the small of the back. And changing direction. Direction, that was weird. <laughs> I was too heavy after the, the success of the figure of eight. And going back, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Keep going. And again. And forward, double bounce in, then turn them out. In, turn the palms out. Get a nice stretch so you can start to get a little bit bigger with the movement. Keep your arms up. Take out the tension, it makes it easier. I think a few of you just told me to F off then. <laughs> Keep the arms up and around the ball. Get the hips going, why not? And again. Keep going, unclench your jaw. Gonna keep the same movement, but go a little bigger. So we go in and under. 
Breathe. Keep going. Hands in. Alligators. Two, three, four. Change direction. One, two, three. And back to the first. One, two, three, four. And change. One, two, three, four. And just start to push. Get rid of all that tension. It can't be that bad. Good. Just start to push down a little bit lower. And now pushing diagonally up. Woo! Going off balance. And going down again. Starting to get a little bit lower. So I'm actually putting a bit of a lean through the torso now. And change the hands over. I'm doing low circles on the ground. Keep the legs moving now we're going to change to vertical windmills. Stay in the middle now. Okay, we're going to go double time but with the arms bent. It's like you're elbowing someone looking over your shoulder. Slug off, go away, no. So violent. Good. Knees bent. Gonna rise up with the elbows and down. And with the arms straight now. Now alternating one of each. So elbows and straight arms. Elbows, straight arms, good, going down and just popping out one hip and the other. Letting the hip go really soft and just reach through your legs for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pulsing out in front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, just take yourself around to the side and into our favourite down dog, just working through the feet, butt nice and high. Good, just little both feet now. Lift the butt towards the ceiling, clasp of the thighs on the wall behind you. Sit bones going up towards the sky. Good, just flatten off into a high plank. Just hold that. Lengthening through the spine. And into my favourite oblique twist. So we're going to go one hip one side and the other. Good. Just on your knees for a second. Roll out the shoulders. Alright, let's do this. So coming up into a uh, down dog again. And we're going to do the shoulder push-ups. So we go down and up, keep the butt high. I'm staying on my toes or the ball of my feet while I do this. Now we're going to go half time. So down, two. Make sure you're drawing the shoulder blades in together so you're not using the biceps at the front. Two more. Last one. Good. Straight into a high plank. And we're going to go up and down. And into the side. Side. And again to the front. Forwards. 
and down to the side and the other side. Try and keep the body in alignment. Don't let the hips dip down. Last one. Forwards and forwards. Good. Just staying here for one more round of work. Just going to stay on one arm and go shoulder. Two, three, four, five, six. Still elbowing the person in the face and change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You rocked it. Child's pose. Nice work. I can tell you are amazing. We glad the thorax. Good. Scooch around to your back. And legs in. Let's go straight up. We're going to go ultimate, 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 ultimate hand and foot. And up. And down. I'm not resting the hand on the floor. Toes are pointed. Now, if that's good for you, just bend. Keep going. And again. This is too much work, just take away the legs and just do the arms. Good. Staying with the arms. And we're going to come up and down. The other version of this is to keep the shoulder blades on the ground and to do it with a bent leg. Bringing the other arm out to the side while I do it. Good, and down. Just rest for a sec. Hands out to the side, just take the knees over one side, hook down the opposite way. Deep breath in. Breathe out and change the other side. Beautiful. Just bring yourself side on and we're going to do the sideways push ups. Four more. Here we go. And four. Three. Two, one, change over. Hand under the shoulder and off we go. One, two, and a three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, onto your back. Lifting the hips and keep the hips high. If you want, you can also do this version. Whatever works for you. Hips nice and high. This one works for core a little more. Good, sitting down. Reach up, bring yourself backwards. Hands forward and hands and feet together and then back. And forwards. And back. Good. Roll up the shoulders. On your front. Elbows in. Engage your shoulder blades. So we're going to go along, down, two, out, in, up, two, side, side, down, two, out, in, up, two, good, two more of that sequence, down, two, out, in, engage first, and then go, up, two, Last set. 
down, two, out, in, up, two, side, side, good, rolling up the shoulders, now we're going to do our push-up set, but only going to do four of the elbows in, because we've just done some, how nice am I? <laughs> Here we go, engage the shoulder blades. And one, two, three, last one, four. Good. Remember the modifications of this, go onto your knees, just hold a plank, or just do as many as you can. Um, don't feel you have to bust them out. Let's just roll through, right the elbows. You know, yeah, you, you moderate what you feel like today. Okay, so the next one in the series is arms wide. Make sure you're engaging through the shoulder blades so that you're not, if you're hunching over, you're using a lot of your biceps and you'll get quite often a sore biceps tendon. Engage your shoulder blades first. Here we go. One. Look forward. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven and eight. Good stuff. Roll it out. How much do you love this? Okay, this time thumbs pointing up. Five, six, seven, and eight. Engage your shoulder blades. One, two, three, four, five. Six, two more, seven, and eight. Woo! Last one, diamonds. We're gonna do a whole count of eight. I find these really hard, they are challenging, so see how you go. Um, if you need to drop on your knees, do again, don't do as many. There we go. And up we go. One, two, Three, four, I'm going knees. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good, pop back into a child's pose. And just wriggle out the chest. Good, and just into a plank. And obliques. And slow it down. One more step. Staying here. Now we're going to do a walk out. So one, two, and up. Other leg. Back with the right. And again. Good, knees down. Relax. Good, and into all fours. Just wiggle out the butt one side and the other. And do that double time. Cycling to the left. Use your belly like a skipping rope. Change direction. Good stuff. Just set yourself up like as if you're gonna do a pigeon stretch. So this legs across, but up on all fours. And just gently rock forwards and back until you find the glutes engage. Good, and change. Keeping the foot extended, and up we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good stuff. Just push yourself into an A-frame, and back to popping out the hips.
Good. Same low, go elbows again. Now, as we do this, sink the butt and then gradually rise up. Hello. Good. And kick. If this is too hard on your calves, take the bounce out. Just do this. Otherwise, get a little hop. I'm going to change it to pulling from the front. Very Disney. Now pulling down from the top. This is odd style aerobics. This is. Okay, alligator. Open and elbows. Open, elbows. Change which arms on top. One side will feel easier than the other. All right, I haven't done this for a while. Let's do repeat a knee with one leg. Go, one. Again, take out the jump if you don't want it. Change. So now the jumper looks like this. And change back. Pull that elbow right into the knee. And change. Keep going. You got it. And open out. Let this steady your breath. Good, into chicken backstroke. Oh, having technical problems with my earphones. Keep going. Into chicken freestyle. Bend over into it if you feel like it. One more set, and go as fast as you can. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to swing. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Nice. Ah. Work us up. Good. Stretching up with one hand, drawing a perfect circle in the ceiling. Keep it little. If it's too big, you might uh, inhibit your breathing. <laughs> Good, change direction. Good, and down, changing arms. Make sure that you're doing this movement with the thorax, not with the hand. Bad and wrong. Soften the knees. Go the other way. Good. Take an hand across, keeping the shoulders square, lifting upwards and pulling in. So get the stretch under here. Good. Relax that down. And changing over. some of this stuff is feeling a little bit easier because you know you're on the 53rd day <laughs> good arm up behind head into a tricep stretch bend the knees and circle changing direction oh i've got some sunshine good bring it down and the other arm. And change. Good. Just reaching up, dropping the wrists, well, the fingers and the wrists, then the elbows, rolling all the way down. And bend the knees, just breathe in to look forward and lengthen. 
and then come down. Again, breathing in, look forward to lengthen. And back down. Two more times, breathe in, look forward and lengthen. And down. Last time, breathing in, look forward and lengthen. And down. Good, arms wide, uh, legs wide. And gentle twists on the spot. To your butt. Cross legged, reaching up and touch the wall. Keep both butt cheeks on the floor, otherwise, you're chitting, not chitting. Breathing in, breathe out, sweep around. Touch the wall. Good, again, swinging around and just keep on going nice and easy, breezing through the arms, opening up the small of the back. Good, and just to do a few things for the wrist, just move forward a little bit and then just sit back just until you get a stretch along the forearm, don't overdo it. And come forward to release that and then same with the hands this way, put them down, then just sit back until you get a stretch along that part of the front part of the forearm through the wrist. And that's it. And just rolling around. Thumb, twist, down. Well, that was good. I feel enlivened now. I hope you do too. <laughs> Turn around. Uh, we'll do one more stretch. Uh, just find the window frame or door frame and stretching out the pecs. Oh, yeah. It is very important to stretch afterwards. It really makes a huge difference in terms of stiffness, particularly as you start to age. Uh, so make sure you stretch out. Obviously, you know, I'm trying to keep to within. 30 minutes, even though it ranges from 30 to 40 sometimes, but um, by all means, please keep on stretching if we haven't stretched out something that you feel like you need. Um, just while I'm talking, drop the chin to the chest and just use the hands to help lengthen out the neck. Uh, so yeah, do keep on stretching, keeping yourself warm, keep yourself hydrated. Lovely. So tomorrow is our stretchy day, come warm and comfortable. And uh, that came out wrong. Be, uh, be prepared to be warm and comfortable. <laughs> oh, dear me, please don't put me on the list. Uh, okay, uh, anyways, great, good time to finish. Uh, thank you so much for joining me once again. As always, it's really lovely to have your company, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Lots of love. Yes, you. Bye.